That's when it happened. I heard voices coming from my computer screen. I quickly looked at the screen and saw my husband, Alex, and a woman. She seemed to be standing next to my husband, but I still couldn't see her face properly. Could it be an affair? I muted my side of the screen and also made the screen blank so that they couldn't see me. Then the woman's face came closer to my husband's face and was clearly visible on the screen. What? No way. My name is Lila. I am a 26-year-old office worker. I have a wonderful boyfriend. He's a colleague of mine and his name is Alex. When I first joined the company as a trainer, Alex was the one who taught me my job. He is very good at his job, tall and handsome. Whenever I am near him, he always smells good. He was so popular that all the female employees were after Alex, and he was one of the most popular guys in the company. Incidentally, there was another colleague whose name is Wayne, and he was also equally good looking and good at his job, but he was rather blunt and gave detailed and strict instructions on work. So his reputation among female employees was divided into two sides. Some said that him being strict was cool and that was out of niceness, while others disliked him because he did not understand people's hearts and was not really gentle. Therefore, the majority of them were attracted to Alex, who was kind and gentle. When he confessed his feelings for me, I thought my heart would jump out of my chest. I was so happy that I even asked him if he was really okay with me. When I questioned him, Alex laughed and replied, And no, it has to be you, Lila. I thought I was going to cry my eyes out. I think I was even more happy than when I got what I wanted for Christmas. So like that, we started dating. I'm really good at doing house chores, so I tried my best to serve Alex homemade food and clean his room for him. He complimented me on how delicious the food was, and he was very grateful when I cleaned his room. I was so happy about that that I studied even more harder to learn how to cook. I kept my relationship with him a secret from everyone in the company. I kept it a secret from everyone in the company partly because there was so many rivals. Besides, I felt that I could not concentrate on my work if all my colleagues knew about my love life. I have said a lot of things about my love life, but I was also very serious about my work. I didn't want my bosses and colleagues to tell me that I was focusing in my love life. So, I kept my relationship with Alex a secret. He agreed with my idea. He was a good worker before he was just handsome or cool. So, he probably didn't want to have his work interfered with by being teased about his love life. Thus, we continued our secret relationship for about two years. Then one day, he proposed to me. Of course, the answer was yes. I thought I was in heaven when he proposed to me. I took the opportunity of our marriage to inform our relationship to the company. Everyone was very surprised. There was a little bit of jealousy from the female employees, but everyone gave me their blessing. Alex and my families greeted each other without any issue, and the marriage ceremony went off without a hitch. My parents-in-law were all 
also very nice people. So I thought we had a really happy marriage. Then we went on our honeymoon and started our married life together. I woke up in the morning to find my husband sleeping beside me every day. I mean, that was natural. But that alone made me very happy. No, really. You're really good at cooking, Lila. My husband always eats my cooking really deliciously. That also makes me happy and makes me want to cook just for him again. You could be a full-time housewife. It would be great if I could eat your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I didn't quit my job after I got married. I like my current job. So, as you can imagine, I can't afford to make even a lunch for Alex. And I just make a really simple and quick breakfast in the morning. I'm glad you say that, but I still like to keep working. Even if you get pregnant? Well, I'll think about that when it happens. Okay, let's make a baby right away. Ha uh, tease. You're being a bit too sudden. Ha <laughs> ha. We were enjoying our newlywed life, flirting with each other like this. However, one year into our marriage, my husband was transferred to a new post and he had to go by himself. He never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. My boss seems to expect a lot from me, and I couldn't just turn him down. I see. Then I guess it can't be helped. It's necessary for you so that you can get a promotion. I'll try to go home whenever I can. Let's have lots of video chats, too. Yeah, okay. As a newlywed, this was quite painful and sad, but I didn't want my personal feelings to get in the way of my work, so I became patient and accepted it. And the more I didn't see him, the more I'm focused on my work. Since I was living on my own, I kept my housework to a minimum and used the extra time to study from a promotion exam. Because I had set a goal and was working hard. Surprisingly, I did not feel that lonely, even though I did not get to see my husband every day. We had occasional video calls and my husband came home every two weeks or so on weekends. And that was enough for me. Even at work, there was someone who saw my efforts properly. Lila, you have been working hard lately. You hardly make any mistakes, and I think that many of the projects you come up with are well thought out. Please, keep up the good work. Oh, thank you very much. I never thought I would get a compliment from Wayne. I felt like my abilities had been recognized. And I was very happy. Oh my gosh. Are you flirting with another handsome guy while your husband is away? Cat. Cat is one of my colleagues. And she's always mean to me. When I reported about my marriage to Cat, she said things like, You're not good enough for him. And she always comes at me at every opportunity. Cat, on the other hand, does not take her work seriously. And she's the type of person who does things just to get by and slack off. To begin with, Cat is a married woman. And recently, she has been working part-time due to her family situation. So she only comes to the office about three times a week. I didn't understand why she was coming at me like that. I always try to let Kat off the hook, as it was just a waste of my time and effort to get involved. However, it is also true that it causes me a lot of stress. 
So I video chat with my husband after I got home from work to relax and relieve the stress. So you know, the boss would explain to me all the time seriously, not realizing that he had made a mistake. And then at the end of the call, he would say, oh crap, did I make a mistake? And everyone would laugh. Ahahaha, <laughs> that's just like him. Oh, it's almost 10 p.m. Let's call it a night. Oh, is it that late already? Well, you're right. I have work tomorrow, so maybe some other time. All right, talk to you later. Yeah, talk to you later. I turned off my computer and was about to end the video chat when I received a text message about work just at that moment. So, I was looking at my phone screen for a few minutes and realized that I forgot to turn off the video chat. That's when it happened. I heard voices coming from my computer screen. I quickly looked at the screen and saw my husband, Alex, and a woman. She seemed to be standing next to my husband, but I still couldn't see her face properly. Could it be an affair? I muted my side of the screen and also made the screen blank so that they couldn't see me. Then I pressed screen record and decided to leave the evidence. I could hear a woman's coaxing voice. I wonder who it is, but his sounds familiar. I feel like I heard that voice today somewhere. Then the woman's face came closer to my husband and was clearly visible on the screen. What? No way. To my surprise, it was Kat who was having an affair with my husband. When Kat and my husband brought their faces close, they kissed each other really passionately. Alex was completely cheating on me with Kat. I bet Lila doesn't think I'm having an affair with you either. Well, she's basically thick-headed, so that's understandable. But why did you marry such a plain, dull woman like her? Hmm, because she was the best cook and seemed the easiest to deal with. She's also in love with me and would do whatever I asked. Ahahaha, <laughs> she's almost like a housekeeper to you. But I was surprised when she said that she wouldn't quit her job. I thought she would quit her job as soon as I asked her to be my housewife. Ah, uh, she's strangely motivated at work, you know. Oh, really? There's no way a woman can get a promotion. I mean, she wouldn't quit. So I volunteered to get posted to where I am right now. Oh, so that's how it is. You know, it's terrible to have your wife in the office. We can't do anything freely. I wonder if I could be assigned here for the rest of my life instead of just being posted here temporarily. Oh, but if that happens, it's going to be difficult for me to come here. But you're going to come to me anyway, right? Yeah. Uh, you are so pushy. Ah, ha, ha. I quietly hung up the video chat as the two of them started taking off their clothes. I will never forgive them. I will put that man to hell for sure. Fortunately, the two of them didn't even know that the video chat was still connected. And they told me themselves that they were clearly having an affair. I was able to record it well which saved me the hassle of hiring a private investigator. My husband's birthday was coming up, so I suggested to him that we invite each other's families to our house for the first time in a while and throw a home party. My husband agreed to throw a party, saying it would be a great way to provide something fun for the family. At the birthday event, I told my husband that I had prepared a video for him and linked my computer up to the TV showing him the video of the affair between my husband and Kat 
on the big screen. Both my in-laws and my husband were absolutely stunned by this. By the way, I told my parents beforehand about what was happening and what was going to happen. I was going to ask them to support me if anything happened. How did you get this video? My husband was not only having an affair, but also about marrying me. He simply wanted a housekeeper who would do what he said. I cannot stay married to such a person. Therefore, I want to divorce him. When I said this, my in-laws came over to me and apologized to me immediately, saying that they were truly sorry for their stupid son. Then, they snapped at my husband asking, What are you doing? Apparently, help from my parents weren't really necessary. I then sent a content certify letter to Kat's house. Therefore, Kat's husband found out about the affair. Kat and Alex were to be sued for alimony by both me and Kat's husband. My husband and I also got a divorce without any issues. And the division of property and other matters were also successfully settled. As expected, since all of us were at the same company, there was no way that the people at the company would not find out and the rumor had already spread. Kat received cold stares from everyone around her, and she couldn't stand it any longer. So she voluntarily resigned from her job. My ex-husband continued to work at the company, not caring about what others thought of him. I am sure he did not want to lose to me, but Kai was determined to stay at the company. I was determined to get promoted before my ex-husband. With this strong determination, I devoted myself to my work. Then, to my surprise, my hard work had paid off, and I was promoted. My ex-husband said, How is that possible? How could a woman get promoted way ahead of me? You must have been cheating somehow. Did you flirt with the boss or the manager? I would never do that. When my ex-husband was having trouble making accusations against me, Wayne came over. Lila has risen to the top all on her own. She did not do anything dishonest and she's not the kind of person who would just flirt with the bosses to get her own way. Hey, wh what's the matter with you? Don't butt into other people's businesses. We're having a conversation here. Outsiders like you better stay out of it. Well, then you're the one who should be the outsider. What? The boss is waiting for you. With that, Wayne grabbed my ex-husband's arm and pulled him away. Wait, what the hell? They went into the conference room and after about an hour, they came out with a department head. My ex-husband's face was lifeless and he looked like he was about to collapse. I went over to Wayne and asked him what had happened. To my surprise, I heard that my ex-husband had been taking tons of work, but pushing them to the newcomer staff. He also told me that Alex had promised the newcomer staff a date with a beautiful woman, whom he said he would introduce to him as a reward for his work. He told the staff to cooperate with him if he did not want to be fired and he made him do more and more of his own work, taking only the credit for it. The threatened staff became mentally ill and resigned voluntarily some time ago. When Wayne became suspicious and investigated about it, that staff told him about the incident and everything came to light. On Wayne's advice, the staff filed a damage report for the threats and also demanded compensation from Alex for his mental illness. As a result, Alex was arrested, and it was also required for him to pay the compensation. Naturally, my ex-husband was fired from the company. I don't know how he's doing since then, but I'm sure he's so full of debts that he can no longer afford to play around with women. Alex deserved what he got. Meanwhile, I was working even harder. Later, I was teamed up with Wayne for a project, and we were much closer to each other.
And to my surprise, Wayne and I started dating. And two years later, we got married. Wayne is very capable of doing housework, so we have a very well-balanced married life, sharing the workload between the two of us. He's very faithful and looks out only for me. I would like to continue to build a happy family with Wayne while supporting each other. Alex really was a scumbag. An irredeemable scum of the scum is what I'd call him. I wonder what would have happened if the video chat had been turned off at that time. In any case, Lila is mentally strong. It was cool to see how she rose to the top by her own strength. I hope she and Wayne will continue to live a happily married life together. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like, please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.